Hey, this is Nat from Magic Beans, and today we are going to be going over the differences between all four of the Bugaboo strollers. If you have any questions at the end of this video, leave a comment below, or you can email me, questions at mbeans.com. As a reminder, all of the Bugaboo strollers are available at mbeans.com for free shipping. All right, why are we starting with the Bugaboo Chameleon? Well, because the Bugaboo Chameleon is the classic. It came out as the Bugaboo Frog. The Bugaboo Frog came out in 2003. We still have people rolling their strollers around that they purchased eight, 10 years ago. Um, in terms of the differences, the basic shape hasn't changed. So this is sort of the iconic Bugaboo stroller. So going through the Chameleon, what makes Bugaboo so great? First off, you do get a bassinet with this. Um, it is now overnight rated with the purchase of the stand. That part is important though. Okay, why isn't the bassinet overnight rated if you don't have the stand? Well, it's because of these bits. If you put that on the floor, this is gonna be wiggly. So it does require the stand for it to be elevated. But so long as you have the stand, it is ventilated. It has the proper thickness. Um, you'll notice this one doesn't have a canopy. The canopy is currently on the seat. So. In terms of the way that the Bugaboo seats work, whereas with a lot of strollers like the Upper Baby Vista, um, sometimes the Cybex Priam, depending on how you're getting it, the bassinet can be a whole separate piece, and then you've got to store that later, fold it down or whatever. With the Chameleon, you actually un-Velcro everything around the bassinet, kind of like roll up the fabric, and then put the fabric of the seat fabric on. So it's not a whole separate piece that you now have to store, which is really nice for those of us that don't have a lot of space. The Chameleon is kind of what we call a hybrid stroller. The reason is that if you look, we have very small wheels in the front, but we still have a good amount of suspension here, and very large wheels in the back. What makes the Chameleon so cool, and the reason it is so popular in Boston, is one, a lot of us don't have cars here. I don't have a car. Nobody that works in Magic Means Boston has a car. Um, your Bugaboo is very much your, your means of getting around. It's your car now. Um, it's a blizzard. You've got to get to the grocery store. You've got to do something. You flip the whole handlebar around, and you can now use the back wheels as like a snow plow and just keep going. In terms of folding this down, we do pop the seat off first. We're just gonna put that to the side. And then right here, it's these two white tabs. We lower them down. With the Bugaboo collection, if there's ever a white button on the frame or on the seats and you're lost and you don't remember what to do, just keep hitting white buttons and eventually something will happen. Everything that performs some kind of function is a white button with Bugaboo. All right, so. Ta-da, we folded it down. You'll notice that the cargo basket is actually kind of a knapsack, which is nice because you can keep your car seat adapters in here. You don't have to bother them taking them like in and out of your cargo basket like you do most of the time. These are Maxi Cozy adapters for the Bugaboo Chameleon. They're just peg adapters. You will need an adapter with any car seat for the store because Bugaboo does not make their own infant car seats, but they've been around for so long, you can put almost anything on here. All right, so a lot of the time when I show people the two-piece fold, Occasionally people come back with, that's, uh, that's a little bit of a deal breaker. We don't want an extra step with the folding down. But I am here to defend that because I have no upper body strength. The fact that I can take it apart and put it in two, two separate pieces, I would probably do that with an upper baby vista anyway. And I can fold that down in one piece. Um, it's just while you're like recovering, you've got very young baby, you can have little kiddo and it's probably gonna be in the car seat or if they're in the bassinet, you're gonna be taking them out first anyway. Put them in, fold it down. It's really not a big deal that it's two pieces and it should not be a deal breaker. This is the chameleon's older brother, the buffalo. Now, first off, we're going to get this part out of the way. You notice the canopy looks really weird right now. That's because it's theoretically May in Boston. This is an ec extra accessory. This is the breezy sun canopy. Ordinarily, your canopy is going to look a lot more like it did with the chameleon, um, but this is available for purchase. What are the big differences between the buffalo and the chameleon? First off, check out 
how big the front wheels are. Let's compare them. That's going to be the number one difference and everything that comes with that. Um, the Buffalo will push through anything. When it says that it's an all-terrain stroller, it means it's an all-terrain stroller. Um, with the Buffalo, there are a couple other like very small things that are different between the two strollers. For example, this one is a one-hand recline as opposed to a two-hand recline. This one has a foot brake instead of a hand brake. This one has a little bit more cargo space. And actually, it has these little hooks on the frame. Let me see if I can show you. Right here, and you can like dangle your groceries off of them, which is great. So the biggest difference is that this one is heavier. It is going to be more durable. It sits up a little bit higher. But the drawback is, you know, well, it's heavier. We're going to fold it down in the same way. There we go. Again, it is a two-piece fold, although again, I would not want to lift this in one piece. This is about as much as I can deal with putting into the trunk of a car before I would start to get a little, a little weighed down by this. A lot of people do go with the Chameleon as opposed to the Buffalo because it is lighter. 28 pounds versus 23 pounds. It's not a huge difference, but you can feel it when you're breaking it down. That said, for those of you that either don't have cars or you're not getting in and out of the car all the time, you're doing a lot of walking around, I prefer this stroller. It is a smoother ride. It does have more suspension. This is the Bugaboo B. This is the B5, not the B3. We skipped the B4. That's fine. So, in terms of the big differences between the B, this is as different as the Bugaboo strollers get. This is the only Bugaboo that does not come with a bassinet. Um, you can get one separately, but it's like fabric based. It's not overnight rated. Um, this one is meant to be kind of the small urban option. I would say if you're like New York City, you're getting on and off the subway all the time, in and out of taxis, walking around. These are more what you're looking at as opposed to a Buffalo. And a lot of people in the big cities like this because it has such a low profile. You can kind of like get in and out of tight places. My favorite part about it that Bugaboo actually showed me last time they were in town. You can fold this down with one hand. You can juggle a kid with one hand and get onto the subway. I'm gonna demonstrate it. Where's the baby? For those of you that don't know, this is Priscilla. She is 10 pounds and about 23 inches when I checked. So she is your average three month old. Obviously I'm gonna be carrying my three month old a lot differently, but we're gonna pretend she's older and not in the car seat. We would just be using the car seat besides. All right, so. We're going to fold down the stroller. These are the tabs. You push in on the button and up on the white tabs on either side. And you can get onto the subway, which is great. And then when we need to kick it back out, that's literally all we do. We just kick it out. It is so accessible for older children. So on the seat right here, do you see this platform that we can extend? have a whole lot of extra seat room and you have the same thing on the back of the stroller like this that's like a whole extra like three inches of headspace so we don't have tons of cargo space but that is fairly consistent with um, a lot of these smaller strollers you can see the suspension in it with the springs foot brake um, the other big thing and this is exclusive to the b5 not necessarily the b3 this is super customizable now. I'm talking, there's like five different choices you have to make. Seat fabric, seat canopy, frame color. There's endless ways to customize this stroller. And we end with the Bugaboo Donkey, which is the largest of the strollers. Um, you can find a lot about the Donkey on our YouTube channel because we're pretty big fans of the stroller. Um, this is, to my knowledge, the only, I'm not gonna say that, this is one of the only side-by-side -side convertible strollers on the market, um, which is awesome. We have a whole debate here at Magic Beans about inline versus side-by-side. -side. With inline strollers, usually you've got kiddo up front, right? So turns are gonna be wider, you're gonna be very top heavy getting up onto curbs is harder side by side you are looking out for doors admittedly but because the weight is balanced between the two kids you have a lot more of a like a smoother push which can be nice um, depending on how much strength you have um, so 
This is the donkey mono configuration, which means that we're set up for one kid. It does also come with an overnight rated bassinet, provided you get the stand. Um, this is the cargo basket. A lot of people don't quite get what this is for since you do have the cargo underneath, but when you're pushing things around, just like having your phone here is awesome. Um, I have a couple of couples who have bought this exclusively so they could put their chihuahua right here. Like, that's great. The other big difference is for the 2017 Donkey, the tires are air-filled as opposed to um, foam-filled. So it helps with um, how much weight the stroller can carry, the smoothness of the ride. This is Bugaboo's only double option. This is the only store that they've attempted to make that can fit two kids and that fit their standards of durability. What that looks like as a double, we just take the cargo basket out. There are three clips on the frame. One, one in the back, one up here on the handlebar, white button right here, pull, Reclip. You can have one kid facing you, one kid facing out, both reclined. There's a lot of different options that you have here that you don't have with an inline stroller. Um, you can also set this up for twins where you have two bassinets and two stroller seats later on. So this is very much twin approved, especially because you do have the twin bassinets. They're both facing you. You're not stuck with like one kid gets to be up close to you today and the other is down below. In terms of folding, it's the same kind of deal. So if we bring this back in, it's the same clips that are on the, the uh, buffalo. There we are. Alright, and that is the major differences between the four Bugaboo strollers. If you still have any questions, leave a comment below or email me at questions at mbeans.com. As a reminder, all of these stores are available at mbeans.com with free shipping. And if you like this video, give us a like. And for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel.